YMCA, or Young Men's Christian Association, has always been known as a family-friendly environment which provides a chance for people of all ages to exercise. However, the YMCA is more than just a fitness center. The YMCA has become a haven for teenage students seeking independence. Adolescents are going through a phase in their life where they seek to prove they are responsible to their parents and the YMCA is a perfect place to demonstrate maturity. The YMCA is a good choice for middle school students seeking freedom and entertainment. This video will present our findings from the David YMCA that is located in Jackson Township. At the YMCA, which has been around since 2006, families and individuals can become members and utilize the space and equipment the YMCA provides to better their lives by staying or getting in physical shape. During a period of one week in March 2014, our group visited the YMCA together three times in 30 minute intervals. We visited twice during the week and once on the weekend. The Jackson YMCA is located extremely close to both the middle school and high school in the Jackson School District and students frequently visit the YMCA before or after school. As all three members in our group have belonged to the YMCA for several years, we consider ourselves to be part of the subculture of students who use the YMCA. Although we belong to the YMCA, each member of our group seriously participates in a varsity sport, which takes up countless hours of our time, so our involvement at the YMCA is minimal during most of the year. In our middle school years, however, the YMCA was much more prevalent in our lives, and as we have noticed in our observations, the YMCA provides middle school students with an entertaining and safe place to congregate after school with minimal adult supervision. YMCA advertises that it has a community atmosphere with equipment and space for people of all ages, which is one of the first things we noticed as we entered the YMCA. However, the members group together based on age and activity. The Y features a weight room, a full basketball gym, four classrooms, a lounge, and a swimming pool. There is also a main lobby and an individual locker rooms for men, women, boys, and girls. Practically all of these areas are used by the middle school students, except for the adult locker rooms and classrooms. At the entrance of the YMCA is the lobby, which houses the administration desk and has sets of chairs for members. At the desk, there is always a staff member, and the YMCA members must scan their YID to be able to access the rest of the facility. The entrance is a roomy area with a high ceiling, and the lobby is the center of the YMCA. In the lobby, there is an area which contains informational seats about all activities occurring at the YMCA, and one of these seats was our artifact. The weight room at the Y is a large area that has both weights and lifting machines, but also running equipment such as treadmills and ellipticals. In order to use the weight room, members must either be 13 years old or be accompanied by an adult. Since many of the middle schoolers come together and not with their parents, most teenagers wait until they're 13 to use the weight room. It should be noted that the age limit is not strictly enforced at the Y, and we have noticed that children who are clearly not 13 use the weight room. The majority of the people in the weight room are older men and women, but there is a harmony between these people and teenagers. Basketball gym is a heavily used area by middle school students, and we have noticed that students flock to the gym after school on most weekdays, especially Friday. The gym can also be used for other activities, but basketball is the gym's main purpose. There are two full courts in the gym, however most of the time at least one of the hoops is occupied by smaller children. Banners hang on the wall with sayings such as trust, teamwork, and honesty. On the weekends and weeknights, adults and some of the older and more experienced middle schoolers play pickup games on one of the courts. These games are extremely competitive and all three members of the, our groups have participated in the past. Another isolated area of the YMCA is the lounge, which is in the back corner of the building. Here is where the middle schoolers most commonly hang out. Because there are vending machines and video games in this part of the YMCA, teenagers can occupy themselves and be alone from the workers and adults at the Y. At the y. There are also groups of tables and chairs in the lounge that encourage socialization. As a teenager, we remember walking to the YMCA after school and being with our friends in this area of the Y. And after our observations, we can see middle schoolers still do this. As a person going through adolescence, it is extremely important to have personal space and to be granted certain freedoms by parents. 
Middle school students go through a phase in their life where their friend groups change and teens are forced to make decisions regarding who they are as people and who they want to be associated with. The YMCA in Jackson Township provides teenagers with a reliable place to socialize with their friends with minimal adult supervision. As we have highlighted in the layout of the YMCA, there are several areas where teenagers congregate at and on all three of our visits, there were teenagers in specific locations. The lounge is the most common area for teenagers to be, especially the girls. The middle schoolers who walked to the YMCA after school brought their iPads, iPods, and phones, and music was frequently playing somewhere in the lounge. The other area that was frequently occupied by the middle school schoolers was the gym. Both weekdays we visited the YMCA, the basketball gym was filled to the brim with teenagers. This was not an uncommon scene. All of our group members have seen this numerous times as we are all members of the YMCA. Although there were more teenagers in the gym than in the lounge, there was considerably less socialization. No matter where we observed, the teenagers at the YMCA, there was, only, there was always one thing in common. The teens stuck together in their groups. It was obvious that the middle schoolers enjoyed not only each other's company, but also the sense of independence felt by being away from their parents. Independence is a key feature in the process of maturing and becoming an adult, and by being alone with their friends, teenagers learn how to be independent. Responsibility is another trait learned by these students at the YMCA. By walking from the middle school to the YMCA and taking care of themselves, teens learn to be responsible and to look after their own interests. By providing teenagers with areas of isolation and by allowing middle school students to do their own activities, the YMCA helps teach teens independence and responsibility. As parents see their children grow and mature, they want to ensure their kids will be in safe and suitable environments. The YMCA offers just this, and parents are more than happy to let their teenagers visit the YMCA after school. The facilities and equipment are always clean, so parents do not need to worry about their children getting sick. More importantly, there are more than enough staff employed by the YMCA to ensure minimal problems arise, and the problems that do present themselves are quickly taken care of. Overall, the YMCA is a family-oriented fam facility which promotes teen growth and maturity. Our group sat down with Ray Kenny, a member of the YMCA and parent to Noah Kenny, one of the teenagers we've interviewed. Kenny has been a member of the YMCA since it was built, so for around eight years. During our interview, Kenny made it clear to us that he and his wife encouraged their son to go to the YMCA whenever he wants. We asked Kenny if he felt the YMCA was a safe and growth promoting atmosphere, and he responded, I think the YMCA teaches children the right values and lessons. I know these values align with our family values, so I have no problem sending Noah to the Y. Later on, we asked Kenny his favorite aspect of the Y. He answered, I love the people that come to the YMCA. I come almost as much as my son to work out or play basketball, and the people here are always friendly to me and my family. Obviously, the YMCA is a family-friendly facility that encourages growth in students. Because of the values taught and the safe environment created by the staff and other members, parents have no problems sending their children to the YMCA. As a teenager, socializing with friends is a major part of daily life. The halls of the schools are full of chatty, gossiping students. Socialization does not stop at school, however. Rather, it extends to life outside of school into extracurricular activities and free time. During our first observation, our group witnessed a group of middle school students stay in the lounge for an hour and never leave to do anything else. We visited other areas of the YMCA to get a feel for where the middle schoolers gather, but during this entire time, this certain group stayed at the tables in the lounge. As members of the YMCA and former middle school students, we have witnessed teenagers spend countless hours in the lounge with their friends, and years ago, we were in their shoes. The YMCA is perfect for teenagers because it is located close to the schools and because adults leave them alone. When the weather becomes pleasant enough to walk after school, one's, or one merely needs to be in the heart of Jackson Township to see flocks of students leave the middle school and travel to the YMCA. During our observation, we never witnessed an older member hassle or cause trouble for the teenagers, and this is likely a key reason the middle schoolers return. They are left alone to socialize. Because everyone at the YMCA does their own thing and minds their own business, the YMCA is an ideal place to hang out with friends after school. The lounge was most likely created specifically for this purpose to let teenagers have their own space and to isolate teens so they do not create unnecessary problems. The close proximity further promotes YMCA as a viable destination to socialize after school, and the combination has created a facility where teenagers feel comfortable and free to visit after school. 
After speaking to a few teenagers, we learned more about why they choose to visit the YMCA after school. We spoke to Noah Kenny after talking to his father. It should be noted that Ray Kenny gave us permission to interview his son. When asked why he liked going to the YMCA, Noah responded, I go to shoot and work on my fundamentals so I can become a better basketball player. Noah also mentioned that he uses the gym most, but that the YMCA is a good place to hang out with my friends. Noah explained to us how his circle of friends talk to each other the night before and figure out who is walking after school and what their plans are. He also told us many more students go to the YMCA on Friday than any other day. Overall, almost every teenager we observed seemed to engage in socialization with their friend groups. Sports and recreational activities seem to be a secondary motive for visiting the YMCA for many middle school students. As an institution, the YMCA exists to better the lives of others. Gordon Hesse, Director of Public Relations for the YMCA in Delaware, wrote a journal in 2009 regarding the YMCA as a youth promoting facility, and he brings up several key points in his article. Originally, the YMCA was founded for the improvement of, of the spiritual, mental, social, and physical condition of young men. The first YMCA was built in Britain, but as the YMCA spread to the United States, the message remained the same. Although the YMCA is not only for young men now, the YMCA still attempts to play a role in the lives of the youth. As a mission-driven movement, the YMCA exists to foster understanding, respect, and responsibility to reinforce a sense of personal worth of self and of others, and to improve the lives of others, explains Hesse. Clearly, the YMCA is a growth-promoting atmosphere which serves its members first. Family-oriented values which the YMCA advertises and teaches satisfy parents and educate their children. Looking back on our observations, it has become clear to us that the Jackson YMCA has become a perfect destination for middle school students to walk to after school. The combination of freedom, socialization, and safety is the perfect balance of independence that adolescents seek. The multitude of activities provided at the YMCA gives students and adults of all ages a variety of ways to become physically fit and better their lives, or to simply hang out with their friends and enjoy a laid back afternoon. The staff and older members of the YMCA have created a welcoming and encouraging atmosphere for teenagers and younger children, and many of the teenagers we observed and talked to visit the YMCA several times per week. After talking to two parents of teenagers to go, who go to the YMCA, we have concluded that parents encourage their children to walk after school with their friends to the YMCA or to go whenever convenient. All the teenagers we interviewed, including Noah Kinney and Reed Bailey, expressed their fondness of the YMCA and explain to us how much fun it is for them to go to the YMCA with their friends after school. Evidently, the YMCA has evolved into a popular after-school retreat for the youth of Jackson. Some adults may argue the Y needs to offer more structure in the lives of their teen members, but with the added structure, kids would eventually stop visiting the YMCA. Part of the appeal of the YMCA for an after-school hangout is the ability for kids to pick and choose their activities and for the kids to be free to come and go with no formal schedule. The Y offers teens a perfect destination for post-school entertainment.